Welcome to part 2 of the Claymation Studio 2.0 tutorial. In this video, we'll go over the basics of capturing images for an animation. For this demonstration, I'll be using a webcam and a simple posable action figure. Now here's a tip, always connect your camera to the computer before you launch the Claymation Studio software. When you launch Claymation Studio, the first thing that appears is the Settings window. Here I'll create a title for my Claymation Studio project and confirm the selection of my camera. For the purposes of this demonstration, I plan to create a fairly short video, so the default capture size and frame rate will be just fine. But here's a tip for those of you planning to upload your video to the Internet. The lower capture size of 320 by 240 is recommended. It helps keep the size of your video smaller. From the main screen, I can see the view from my camera in the Viewer pane. Before I capture my first frame, I just want to make sure everything in the frame is to my liking. And when I'm ready, I simply click the red capture button on the control strip. You can see by looking at the storyboard that my first frame's been captured. Now I'll make a slight adjustment to my character and capture a second frame. By continuing to make adjustments and capturing each change, I'll eventually capture enough frames that when played back, my action figure will come to life. And that's stop motion animation. Now here's a neat way to align your frames. It's called the onion skin slider. The name dates back to the early days of animation when artists used to lay a piece of semi-transparent paper over a drawing to help create the next view. Well, Claymation Studio automates that process for you. When I adjust the onion skin slider to the middle, I can see both the existing frame and what I'm about to capture. Being able to see both frames at once enables me to not only match up my character exactly, but also make my adjustments much more precise. When I'm happy with my adjustments and the overall frame, I simply press the capture button and the new frame is inserted into the storyboard. For even more precise adjustments, you can also activate the grid over here in the camera tab. With the slider, I can adjust the size of my grid squares based on the amount of adjustments I plan to make. So now, I can move my character's arm, let's say, two squares for each frame, and that helps keep the movement smooth. Well, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my adjustment skills, but it looks like I'm going to have to capture a lot more frames if my character's going to make any progress here. So to speed things up a little, I can set an auto capture time over here in the camera tab. By setting the program to capture a frame automatically every few seconds, I'm free to concentrate only on the adjustments. At any time, I can play back my animation to see how I'm doing. And if there's a frame I don't like, I can delete it. And I can copy and paste one or more frames too to move them to another position in the storyboard. Now, let's add an opening title to my movie. To add an intro title, I right-click on the first frame and choose Add Intro Title from the pop-up menu. Or I could use the title buttons from the frame controls over here on the left. The Create Title window opens, and from here I can enter the text of my title. Change the position of the title on screen, and even change the color of the title background or I might add one of my own images to use as the background. When I'm done, click OK, and here you can see my new title in the storyboard with a little text icon over it. I'll press play again to preview. Hmm, title seems a little short, doesn't it? Well, I can easily change the duration by just adding more frames to the title. Well, that should give you enough information to get started on capturing your own frames and creating an animation using Claymation Studio 2.0. In the third video of this tutorial, we'll take a look at audio recording and adding special effects to your animation.